Hey everyone, Mark Buffy here from Spectre Pro Shop Software. And in today's tutorial video, we've been talking about in the past videos, always ball care and what to do with your equipment, how to do layouts. This time we're talking shoes. One of the biggest things uh, bowling internationally for Team Canada over the years is one of the most important parts of your game is your shoes. Because when you go from center to center, you need all your different soles and all that type of stuff on the high end. But now we're gonna talk about just shoe maintenance in general. So we've got an entry level pair of shoes here. These are my son's shoes. And as we can see here, if you kind of come in a little bit closer, look at this shoe here. It is absolutely horrendous. He steps everywhere in the bowling center here um, and doesn't really take care of him. So what we're gonna talk about today is some of the things that you can do at home and also some accessories that you can acquire in your local pro shop that will help you keep your shoes at least the base of the shoes as fresh as possible for the longest time. So one of the more important accessories that every bowler should have in their bag, either your one-handed, two-handed, bowl five pin, duck pin, 10 pin, whatever, is a shoe brush. What this will do is it will raise the fibers back up on the slide sole. So between every shot is something that I would even recommend as a coach. So just lift up your foot, give it a quick scrape, and between every shot, you're sure to be Fresh. So this is this is a Brunswick one. Every brand makes them. Just make sure you have this in your bag. It's something that will last you a lifetime. The next thing that you can also have in your bag is some slide powder. Uh, different manufacturers exist. They're all practically the same. So whatever your pro shop will have in stock is something that you could use. Now, some bowlers will frown upon using this in between shots. So probably not something you want to do in between shots, but it is something that you will see in more of the deep cleaning that becomes something really nice. And also if, you have, if you're an amateur player and you have trouble coming out of it sometimes, this could be something that you could just knock onto your thumb every now and then. So it is a nice little accessory to have in your bag. And then lastly is going to be a shoe cover. So if you wanna to go to the restroom or go to the snack bar and you don't wanna dirty your soles, definitely get yourself a pair of shoe covers. So that's gonna be my top three accessories in regards to uh, what you should have to protect your shoes and to keep them fresh on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, we saw that these shoes were a little bit beat up, so let's go ahead and freshen those up to get them a little bit closer to, to box finish, which is gonna be practically impossible because you are sliding on them, but it is something that you could maybe do uh, you know, after 30 games or so. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take some of our slide powder, we're gonna knock it onto the sole here, and I'm gonna take my wire brush here, and I'm just gonna hammer away at it. Okay, so as you can see now, the fibers are coming back up, and they're not just all squashed down. So kind of just go around. Doesn't really need to be any method to this mat. Let's just try to make it as clean as possible, go around in circles. And all we're doing is we're trying to get these fibers lifted back up and get some of the characteristics back of this sole. So again, just rinse and repeat as many times as necessary. Dust cloud here. And as we can see now, those fibers are now exposed. They're now lifted again. And we now have a little bit of a cleaner slide sole here. So this is definitely gonna give my son a little bit more slide than what he had in the past. That is the first step. So now that this is done and clean, the other thing now is to educate to put on the shoe cover whenever they leave the bowler's area. This just becomes proper etiquette just to keep your shoe nice and clean. So again, we always talk about bowling balls so much, but the shoes have a huge importance. So I hope that this video helped you. Make sure to go to your local pro shop or your favorite.com to purchase those three products as I had mentioned. So your shoe brush, number one importance, I believe every bowler should have in their bag. Number two, some slide powder. Again, tread carefully with that, especially if you're bowling in league, don't, don't smear it all over the place. And number three is a shoe cover. Some models do come with them in the box, so something to look for when you're shopping around. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Thank you for following Spectre Bowling. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.